In this video, I'm gonna cover the current market prices of bank foreclosure listings within the city, the activity metrics on those bank foreclosures, and then the metrics on the 90 day sold properties, including price per square foot and the financing terms. First, we're gonna start off by looking at the current market. Now, just a side note, the numbers you see in the brackets there are last quarter's numbers, so you can compare quarter over quarter to see really where the price trends and the housing trends are going within this subset of the market. So, looking at the current market, we have 70 properties that are on the market within Wellington as bank foreclosures. Now, of those 70 properties, we have 14 properties that are under contract mark contingent. We have 24 properties under contract mark pending, and then we have zero properties that are accepting backup offers, leaving 32 properties available to be purchased within Wellington, Florida. Next, we're gonna take a look at the market activity on the 32 listed properties. In the last 10 days, we have three new listings. We have two properties that came back on the market, and then we did have seven price changes all to the downside. Now we're gonna take a look at the prices within the Wellington bank foreclosure market. On the low end, we have $234,000 for a three bedroom, two bath home with 1647 under air. And on the high end, we have $867,000 for a five bedroom, seven bath home with 5517 under air. And then the median price of a bank foreclosure comes in at $343,000. Next, we're gonna take a look at the sold properties. This is in the last three months or 90 days, 54 properties have sold. The average sales price came in at $355,000. The average sales price per square foot dropped to $125 on average per square foot with the range on the low end of $79 per square foot to a high of $183 per square foot. And then the average days on market fell slightly to 75 days. Now we're gonna take a look at the sales to list price. This is a very valuable number because it tells you what buyers are putting these houses under contract for and moving them off the market as it relates to the list price. So on the low end, we had 0.84 or 84% of the list price was paid. Now just a side note, typically when you see anything under that 0.90, there's normally something physically wrong with the property hence the big discount to move it off the market. It could be damage, it could be lack of uh, updating or just you know deferred maintenance that the bank didn't do. So on average, it's 0.97 or 97% of the list price was paid. Now another way to look at this is if you're going in and you're putting offers on these properties is that the average property goes for a 3% discount to the list price. Good information when you're putting together a strategy to go after some of these bank foreclosures. And then for the most sought after bank foreclosure within Wellington, Florida, someone paid 8% above list price. Now we're gonna take a look at the financing terms of the 54 deals that closed last quarter. We had 22 deals closed with cash, 25 deals closed with conventional financing, four closed with FHA or VA, and then three closed other. This is really good information to see your competition and understand what kind of offer you're most likely to be up against. If you're looking to buy a Wellington, Florida bank foreclosure, let me put my extensive bank foreclosure experience to work for you. Thank you for watching this market report for the Wellington bank foreclosure market. For more information or to set up a showing on one of the listed properties, you can contact me at 561-336-6333 or you can visit my site at buyingpalmbeachhomes.com. Please rate and comment and thanks for watching one of my videos.